We live in an information society. On the one hand, with the right information, we achieve economic, social, and cultural benefits. On the other hand, with misinformation, the truth is falsified, public opinion is manipulated, and this can affect all aspects of life negatively. I want to study mathematics, but I'm scared of the unemployment rate. Have you considered pursuing an academic career? The chances are much better. Of course, but the percentage of women's career advancement in academics is much lower. Are you sure about the unemployment rate? No, I'm not, because I did not find information from an official source. It was just mentioned by a blogger and confirmed by an influencer on the internet. Unfortunately, all the information and statistics that are in common usage are not reliable. What information can we trust? We need to find their sources and their motives. A current example of misinformation is related to the global spread of the coronavirus disease. Have you noticed the huge wave of false and misleading information about the coronavirus in the past few years? Of course I have noticed it. The European Commission was forced to take action against this. I'm worried about the spread of false information designed to deceive people and endanger public health. I am very concerned about the conspiracy theories such as the coronavirus being an infection caused by the global power elite to limit population growth. We, we think, think that, that we can get reliable information from a study in Eurostat which are independent authorities administratively and financially. They follow rules and the highest European and international statistical standards providing quality statistics.